Hello. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Hi, Jennifer, Susan, I see your message in the chat. Is anyone at the building? I'm actually at the building in the room. I'm the only one here. Um, and for future, uh, Jennifer, I don't know if I should ask you to push this up for us, but we couldn't get into the building today. Oh no, okay. I'll work on that because that's a problem. Okay. Um, and are these doors, are they batch protected? Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. And then also our, I'm in 211. Um, the public notice says that our meetings are in 211. There was no one up here. So I just want everyone to know we're in the meeting space. Um, should any questions arise? Okay. How is everyone? Susan, glad that you could be on. Um, Jennifer, glad that you can be on. How are you both doing today? I'm good. I'm great. I'm glad to be here. Sorry, I have my um, camera off because we are about to attend an event um, on campus with the group students. So yeah, but I'm, I'm excited for our first meeting. Yay. <laughs> well, thanks for being here. Um, Susan, how are you? Susan, let me know if there's, if you're able to engage today, because if not, I think we're the only three between you, myself, and Jennifer, we're the only three commissioners, so I can't be the only one doing business. Okay, so seeing nothing from Susan right now. Um, I think then we aren't going to, I see a name, Molly. Molly, are you a guest today? Are you from public? Um, I'm actually from County Legal. And oh. so um, I am the attorney assigned to the Women's Commission. So I thought I'd come to the meeting. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, it is so nice to meet you. Um, sorry that I couldn't be there in person. I'm currently holding a nine month old. So if you hear any baby noises in the back, Aww. she's responsible. No, that's fine. Okay, well, since we have legal on, I'll ask you. So our commission is not fully seated. We have 11 spots available. We technically only have four people. Um, oh, there's Susan. Susan, are you outside the building? You can't get in, can you? You're on mute. I'll watch the chat for your response. Molly, are we even able to conduct any business I, today? I don't think so, because I don't think you have a quorum. Um, so I, I think you can have a discussion, but I don't think it qualifies as a meeting. Okay. And I can also talk to maintenance um, about the building, because when I talked to them this morning, they were under the impression that the meeting was canceled. So that might have something to do with the fact that you couldn't get in. <laughs> Okay, um, you know what would be really helpful? Because so, and I know Dina, excuse me, Dina did send out public notice on April 7th that the meetings, that today would be our first official meeting and she sent out the other meeting dates. So. I think it was a little con, um, I think the confusion came from the fact that Dina's out of the office right now. So uh, okay. If you look at your guys's uh, at the website, it still says that you're meeting at noon. Um, so on one spot it says 5:30, one spot it says noon. And so without Dina, we were trying to figure it out. Okay. Why didn't anyone reach out to me as the chair? Why didn't anyone say, "Hey, what's going on with your commission?" I think we tried to reach out to Jennifer, and she did respond to me. Um, but I mean, I've been at County Legal for a month today, so uh, I really didn't know who to reach out to. And the person who could tell me was not in the office. Okay. Well, Molly, I will extend myself to you from here on out. If there are any questions about the Women's Commission, please feel free to reach out to me. I am happy to get those answers to you. Yeah, and I'll, I'd like to say that's also, I'll, I'll take the 
um, hit for that one as well because um, I was under the impression that people have reached out to you, Nichelle. So I didn't realize that that was the case. So I just thought I was filling in Molly when I sent when she sent the email and I responded back. Gotcha. So, okay. Yeah. Um. So on the Molly on the county website for commission, it it shows the women's commission hybrid today at 5.30, where are we still seeing? If you it? click on the event, like if you click on that, in the event details, it says 12 o'clock. Mm, it says 5.30, 6.30 up top, and then you scroll down and it says 12 o'clock. Okay, that should be updated. That should be 5.30, um, and that should be every third Thursday. Okay, if I'm creeping on Susan appropriately, it looks like Susan has made it into the building and is making their way up to the room possibly. So um, while Susan makes her way, Jennifer, from is there anything that we need to know from your lens, anything that we need to be aware of coming from County Council? I know that you've been assigned to this commission as well. Are there any questions that we need to answer for you all? Because I know you have to jump off in a little bit. No, it's fine. Um, I would say I'm trying to help with um, trying to get people of interest to start applying so okay. that they, we can get our board 100% um, filled. So that's what we are trying to do currently. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay. working with y'all and um and try and i know i have been talking to somebody and i also have been encouraged and heard to reach out to you nichelle um right. and i can chat with you offline to see if that person has done so uh because to my knowledge they were supposed to reach out and apply last week and so mm -hmm. i haven't seen anything come in and an email that says hey this person has applied yet so we're just gonna have to keep pushing and um, and try to do so. I don't know if people are just tapped out with everything going on, especially with primaries and things like that that are going on and happening. So yep. hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm just gonna put it out into existence that we can get some people um, to be a part of it. Okay, great. Question for legal. Technically, do we have to count quorum based on the number of seats that are filled or the number of seats assigned to the commission? I think it's based on the seats assigned, um, but I can double check. Okay, and Key, let me know because if we have 11 seats assigned to this commission, then we'll need to get what, at least six to be able to do business? I believe so. Okay. Susan, hi. Um, Glad that you're here. So we're gonna work on figuring out how to get access to this building. There was confusion, the person who does all the scheduling was out of office mm -hmm. and there was confusion about is the meeting happening or not. So I apologize for oh, that. No, I was just in the wrong place. No, it's okay. We were walking around the building too, trying every door. So we're all here. So today's business or today's meeting will not be a business meeting. It just has to be a discussion because we technically don't have quorum, yeah. okay? Um, okay, well, in that case, then we can't approve an agenda or do really anything. So I'll just share a few updates and field any questions. So I would encourage, and I'm only, for the people who are on the screen, I'm only looking right because Susan's sitting right next <laughs> to me. Um, so we need to figure out how to get more people on the commission to just kind of preface why we're at such a vacancy right now. We were pretty close to fully seated um, before the pandemic. And then the pandemic hit and there was like, you know, people were at capacity, they stepped back from certain projects um, and the Women's Commission being a volunteer thing is something that people step back from. So it was never, from my impression, never people weren't happy with the work that we're doing or um, with the commission itself, it just was a capacity concern. So you're a new commissioner. We have another person, Nikki Williamson, who couldn't join today, but will be joining for the May mid meeting. Also new commissioner. Jennifer Crossley, who's on here, is our appointee from County Council. 
So, and she does have voting power, but they serve as an ex officio member. And then it's me. That's the squad right now. So if we can get two more people, then we can start to handle official commission business. Okay. So I've been trying to recruit people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like there's nobody on here. Yeah. Julie. Yeah. We got this, y'all. We can do this. I got faith. This is a good group of people. <laughs> like I so got faith and with Michelle and um Susan getting looking forward to getting to know you as well and just trying to you know, just talk to other folks who we aren't really, who we haven't really engaged because it tends to be the people that I've been asking if they would want to. Those are our usual suspects of people that are known and will go about the community. But um, yeah, just trying to get new people and um, people that, you know, want to serve in any way capacity to be involved. So we got this. I got faith. I'm speaking into existence. We we got this. Thanks, Jennifer. We're gonna say something. Um, I agree with you. I really do think we're gonna get it. <laughs> I think it's um figuring out how to add this to people's plate without taxing them even more. So how to make this commission fun and engaging and to make sure the work is impactful. Um, I think that's going to be the biggest selling point. Just so you all know, we are, so every year we've hosted um, Girls Coding Camp. This will be our fifth year, I want to say. We are in a position where the, the strategic partners are actively trying to work on this camp now because it is a fall after school program. So the planning all happens now to launch in the fall. Um, it is, this is a commission project. So the interesting part is going to be um, when we learn more from Molly, if we have to wait to vote on stuff until we have quorum, we could be facing some challenges because we are, the camp is being funded by the board of commissioners. We have $10,000 to support this camp, but we obviously won't be able to vote and make decisions about this funding until we have quorum, but that is going to negatively impact our strategic partners across the community. So we really need to figure out um, if there are any workarounds for us to get this done so that we can hold the camp in the fall. Um, that's the biggest thing on our plate right now. I would say we should just start there. One of the things that we talked about um, before the great resignation, you know, before COVID was bringing in women from across the community as guest speakers for each of the meetings. And so if you all have people that you know of that would be good to come and speak to this commission, I would encourage you to send me those names in a list. We're looking for people who can talk about the status of women in our community. So um, just to give you an idea, some people that we had talked about were Dr. Marquet Winston with um, MCCSC to talk about the status of girls in our school systems. Um, we talked about, um, oh man, my, my, my name is, my mind is blanking right now. Afat Pfefferman with United Way. Um, we talked about Tina Peterson with the Community Foundation. So other leaders in the community that can talk about the quality of life here um, and specifically speak to the status of women in our community. So if you have other people that you think would be good speakers, they, would they be asked to speak for about 15, 20 minutes and then field questions for five to 10? I am um, encouraging you all to send me that. Since we can't do any business, we don't need to jump into handling any business really. Um, so I'll just open up to you. Are there any questions that you all have or things that we want to put on our radar? Not that I can think of. Okay. Well, if that is the case, this is going to be the shortest meeting. It's great. It's my first one. <laughs> The shortest meeting in the history of the Women's hey, Commission. I'm not, oh, I'm going to turn it off. I'll talk.
Okay. Nope. There you go. There we go. Yeah, you're only going to be able to use one device for um, the sound and volume for all that. Otherwise, it's going to do the echoing. Sorry. So I think one of my questions would be, I mean, you talked about the time commitment. So when I try to recruit people, I know, especially people like me that are getting into service, getting into the, I mean, something, whatever the reason, um, what, what do you think? Because it all comes down to time, right? Mm -hmm. Versus impact, there's mm -hmm. some kind of thing. What do you think? Because you've been on the commission for a while, right? Mm -hmm. What is, what do you think the time commitment is? So I always tell people, expect two hours at minimum, two hours a month at minimum. So that's one hour, typically our meetings are about an hour for this, for this meeting. And then you should be dedicating an hour outside of our meeting time to the commission, whether that's serving on a project, recruiting other people, thinking about the homework assignments that come from this, working on a subcommittee. So at minimum, I would say a healthy contribution is two hours a month. Now, of course, I would love for people to say, oh, I'll do that a week, two hours a week. That would be great. But when we're talking about recruiting people, at minimum, two hours a month. It's a great question. Um, what type of commissioners are we looking for? I really am looking for people who are committed to doing work. So we're a working commission. We haven't always been seen that way. We kind of were dormant a little bit under radar for a while. Um, this is prior to me being on the commission. So since I've joined, we've really changed our reputation in the community. We're engaged, we partner with other people. So I'm looking for people that actually want to do work, not that um, just want to fill resume spots or use this as a launch pad for something else, right? Now, obviously, if this does become a launch pad for something else, that's great. Like we endorse, we support, we will help people get to where they wanna go. But I'm specifically looking for people who want to do work. I'm also interested in people who, um, so not just do work internally, but who wanna build relationships with other organizations and entities. So thinking about, okay, if we know that childcare is an issue here in Monroe County, who's willing to go and connect with providers in the community to say like, what is it that you all need? How can the Women's Commission help? Does that mean we come in on a Saturday and host a reading day? Does that mean we do um, daycare breaks where we come in and volunteer like hands-on in, in under-resourced daycares? Like I want people who wanna go out into the community and build relationships and position the commission as the support, right? Um, and then the other thing is I want people who are equity minded. So I don't want a mean girls club or a clicky group. Um, we serve all women, all women, period, right? So I want people who have that mindset to be inclusive, to think about, okay, how do we make sure that policies aren't harming people? How do we conduct our meeting? Is it a way that, so for example, our meetings used to be Fridays at 12 o'clock. Some people don't have the ability to access that type of meeting. Not everyone has the privilege of leaving work to come for a one hour meeting, right? Um, and not everyone has the ability to take this meeting from their workplace. So that's part of the reason why we moved it to an evening after kids are you know, out of school. My son is here with me today. So if you gotta bring your kids, you can bring your kids, right? We want people to be able to get to the meeting. So we want equity-minded, equity-centered people who are um, willing to build partnerships across the community and who are ready to work. That's what I'm looking for. Anything else, titles, accolades, experience, I don't care. If you're willing to work, we can work with that. Great. Yeah, great question. Any other questions that we have? Jennifer, if I can give you some homework, if you can learn more about, and I have a meeting coming up with Peter Iverson, Who's, who was our appointee before you. Um, but if you can learn from Peter also exactly how we're supposed to access our funds for this camp, that would be great too. So I know it has been built into the budget. It's a line item in the budget, but I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to access those funds. So if you can learn more about that and get back to me, that would be really helpful. Okay, I will put that down. Thank you. Beautiful.
Okay, then, well, that is our meeting. Thank you all for being here. I'm not seeing anyone off for public comment. Tech services, do we see anyone for public comment? Anyone from public? Okay, I'm thinking that's a no. So we'll go ahead and conclude today's meeting and I'll see you all on the third Thursday of May. Thanks everyone.